Greetings, I'm Ewit Hager and in this tutorial I'm gonna explain how to make an Arduino Uno into an HID keyboard. This also works for the Arduino Mega. So we have a basic setup here with four push buttons and four resistors, one kilo ohm. This is a uh, pull down method. So let's start up with coding. A keyboard works with a byte buffer to send through key codes. So the way to do that is uint 8 t sorry uint 8 t uh, and we're gonna make a but yeah a byte buffer array so we're gonna make a buffer of eight bytes and we're gonna fill them in with a zero next thing since it is a arduino project we have uh, utilized the pins four five uh, six and seven and we're gonna give them uh, a meaning. So to do that, yeah, it should be fine. Uh, and we're gonna utilize the WASD keys. Four, and we're gonna copy those. And make them correspond to the right input pin. So the next thing to do is uh, in the setup we're going to establish a uh, communication between uh, the Arduino and the computer and the way to do that is with the serial uh, class commands and we use serial.begin and we will enter a baud rate in this case uh, 6900 you can increase the baud rate if you want but for this tutorial it isn't uh, needed and we're going to set the pin modes of the pins we have defined on top so let's copy this and make it a input pin a s and d all right so now we have uh, defined pin modes and we we have defined the pins and also started a serial communication so the next thing to do is actually send through a, a key code and we're gonna do that in the loop so if the button is pressed so digital read pin w equals high then we're gonna send through a key code <coughs> To write the, the key code into the buffer, we're gonna use the buffer. We're gonna take the second byte of it and we're gonna send through the key code. I have uh, an example uh, or a file in, uh, in the description down below. You can download it and also uh, you'll have all the information. So the key code for W is 26. And to actually write it, we're going to use the serial write command, put in the buffer, and send through 8 bytes. Now, if you start this up, um, it will, and you press the button, it will change the, the buffer to, in the array, to 26, but it won't go back. So basically, it will keep on sending uh, the key press W. That's quite annoying, so we need to make a end function. And we're going to call that ke uh, key release. And in this we're going to yeah, put in the end buffer. Uh, the keyboard uh, always takes the, the zero buffer or the, the, the first bit of the buffer um, also as, uh, as the main input. So we're going to change the first byte to zero it will be zero but if you for example utilize the shift key uh, the 225 for a capital um, then you can put it inside the zero buffer so you change this to shift and then to zero and then use the key code uh, for that so but we have changed the second byte and we're also doing a serial dot write of the buffer it's I'm gonna send those through all 
All right, to stop it, we just put it behind this. It will make our lives a lot more easy. And this is basically the code we can now copy everything and change all the pins with the with the corresponding key code so w is 26 a is 4 s is 22 and d is 7 <coughs> All right, let's check it up and also save the sketch. And we have a fault. X, uh, the fault is, all right. I think I forgot the semicolon here. And there we go. All right. So right now we can upload this code to uh, our board. Make sure you select the right one. Like I said, it also works for the uh, Mega. And we're gonna upload it. And once it's done uploading, we can move on to the next step. All right, we need to put the Arduino Uno or the Mega into uh, DFU mode so it accepts new firmware. Uh, to do that, you short the two uh, ICSP2 pins. Um, on the Uno, it's these next to the reset button. And on the Mega, it's uh, yeah the same block, only then on, a, on an other location, not this block. All right, to uh, send through or to parse a, a new uh, firmware onto the device, uh, we use flip. Uh, I have also provided a uh, install in the folder in the description. And we're gonna short the two pins to make it go into DFU mode. You will hear the USB disconnect and then connect again sometimes not always and now we can open up the flip app um, next we're gonna load in the hex file uh, i've provided two hex files so one is the arduino firmware so you can always revert the action and uh, reprogram your arduino board but for now we're gonna use the keyboard.hex and we're gonna press run it checks up so everything works and if we go into device manager uh, normally you'll have a port here but it isn't here it recognizes the AT uh, mega chip and if we disconnect the USB and then reconnect it we should have a extra keyboard somewhere <laughs> it's always fun in the device manager but still uh, the key press uh, should work right now, so if we use notepad and we're gonna press uh, the buttons then everything should fill in and there we go WASD I hope you liked it and I hope you found it useful you can make your own uh, controllers with this and uh, if you have any other suggestion for me to uh, work out as a tutorial leave a comment down below and uh, thank you take care